All right, let's see what uh, what Zero can tell us. So, groping in the dark, Astinian looks at you with his piercing game. Astinian? Yo, we're like cool, but like, we're not, we're not cool like that, you know? I'm kidding, I know. Hmm. Uh, Avery, you've come to the 13th floor, yes? You fought Void Sent here. I... Uh, yeah. But clearly you don't know, uh, you didn't know they could regenerate, else you would have shared that detail beforehand. Uh... Yeah, they seemed to stay dead at the time, yes, or I was in a bit of a rush and didn't have time to wait around and see. Yeah, no, they seemed to stay dead at that time. I doubt that they did. There must be a reason why the ones you defeated did not return in contravention of the natural order. Do you remember aught of, uh, out of the ordinary? A sealing magic like zeros, perhaps. Uh... I don't know. There are circumstances in which we're unable to return. If you like, I can tell you, uh, uh, I can tell you about this. Please do. The more you devour, the more powerful you grow, but in the process, your essence is blend, uh, blended with those of your prey. If you were to lose your flesh, the souls you come to harbor may break free and coalesce into distinct void scent once more. And before you, you yourself return, your soul might be devoured by your enemies or your erstwhile prey, a fate more likely for stronger beings who require more time to regenerate. However, even assuming you survive the process, it's highly uncommon to return as you were. Yet, despite his greater strength, Sakura... Sakura... I fucking don't know how to pronounce his name. Scaramouche. Managed to resurrect rather swiftly. Are there others capable of the same? Not that I'm aware of, his attachment to his flesh must have been unique for him to develop such an ability. Okay. I believe we understand the fundamentals of rebirth now. If I may, I would ask about your power. Will you tell us about it? What you saw should speak for itself. I could bind the ether of the soul in crystal. Many uh, wielded this power during the uh, Contra Memoria, but I'm the only one left. I am told about heroes of the 13th, that once sealed gods in stones called Orosite. Are they and Memoria one and the same? Orosite? I do not know this word, but the world is vast, and perhaps Memoria had different names elsewhere. But it does sound quite similar. How does one come to wield Memoria, and what happened to your peers? Huh, I've never thought about that. I do not know, though, that- Um, I do- I do know, though. And the Void Saint can't use the power. I assume because I'm mortal in part. I see. Zero, I wish to ask you about the man named Golbez. He may as well have my sister in his clutches. Is there aught you can tell us about him? The name sounds vaguely familiar, though. I can't say how I know it. He, if he is powerful, however, someone in the castle may have heard of him. Then we must try talking to the other Void Saint again. Let us entrust his task to Avery. His echo will help facilitate communication. More importantly, he should be able to maintain his composure better than a concerned sibling. <laughs> Poor Varshan. That I cannot deny. Forgive me, but will you not ask about Gulbez in my stead? On the terraces to begin with, perhaps. I got you. It's okay. Thank you. We shall remain here and discuss what other avenues we might pursue in the meantime. I got you, homie. Okay. So where are we going? Uh... Okay, so we are going like all the way back. Uh, I'm gonna cut the footage to when I actually just get to the place because this is a long fucking grueling process, so... Catch you, uh, catch you back here, uh, when I reach our destination. Alright. Uh, I was stupid, and apparently, uh, I went the completely wrong way, so, uh, yeah. Thankfully, there is a, uh, a little void scent attendant that will just teleport me back up here, but don't go the way that I went. Uh, ugh, the tasty one returns to tempt me. I mustn't eat you. I mustn't eat you. Buddy. Golbez? I know of him from those I've eaten. He has minions, and those minions have minions. No one ever sees him. Uh, with his army of minions, Golbez would seldom have need to act personally. It will not be easy to reach him. Yeah. I'd assume so. 
All right, you. Uh, if the one who devoured her dies, perhaps the mistress would, will return. Then I may get... Okay, yeah, you're still stuck on your mistress. Golbez, you say? My mistress spoke of him. He commands the arch uh, Archfiends. They are very powerful and have conquered many domains. The mistress bade us defend the castle from them. Yes, yes, she did. It seems the Archfiends have been attacking other domains. Their fearsome reputation precedes them. Okay. So they're not like pushovers. They are actually like, you know, feared. Uh, so the clever one hasn't been eaten? If no one wants it, then perhaps... No. Stop that. Golbez? Of course I know him. Only a fool without ears wouldn't. His archfiends lead uh, armies to ravage and conquer. They devour those they deem useless, those who can't fight. If you don't want to be eaten, then you'd better flee. Though, uh, though, soon there, so, though soon there will be nowhere left to run. It seems the archfiends keep only those who are fit for battle. Others must escape or be consumed. Yikes! Alright. Alright, we go... We go back down. I'm getting so lost in this place, it's not even funny. It's not even fucking funny anymore. Hi guys, I'm back. Welcome back, Avery. Were you able to learn auto value? So countless voids sent answer to the Archfiends, who in turn answered to Golbez, as your vision did suggest. Scaramouche's aggressions also are consistent with the claims that the Archfiends conquer other domains. The question is, how do we reach Golbez if he surrounds himself with armies of minions? We could target his other Archfiends, or perhaps those who have fled his service. Either may yield, uh, either may yield useful information. That said, we can't do much while we're stuck on this aisle. Zero, I would ask a favor of you. I am determined to save my sister Asdaja, and if there's even a faint possibility that Golbez has her, then I must find him. To that end, I want you to lend us your strength and knowledge. Will you accompany us on our quest? Forgotten the way of my world already? If you want help, offer payment. None here will aid you out of the kindness of their hearts. Any who claim otherwise are liars and betrayers. Or is this less a request and more a threat? If I refuse, will you force me to serve? Oh, okay. If you accompany us, we can offer you protection. Mm, fuck no, she can defend herself. Uh, surely you must desire something. Name it. Or we're not like Xenos. We would never ever force you to serve. Yeah, that one 100%. We are... No. Mm -mm. You aren't forcing your avatar to serve against its will. Oh! Wait, that's that's unique Reaver dialogue, I think. Wait, <laughs> I'm so sorry for like yelling. Oh, that's so good. I, I, before Patch went live, I was like, man, I really hope they add some like Reaper exclusive dialogue. They fucking did. You aren't forcing your avatar to serve against its will. That's true. Yours is an equitable covenant. That being the case, I can believe your words. You would provide fair payment. Well, what do you offer? Very well, Zero. I propose you travel with us, and whenever you perform a deed that requires payment, we will provide it in ether. That's all you had to say. Everything else was super flubus. Fair point. Where to now? Either a place that archfiends may strike next, or where refugees and deserters may seek sanctuary. I know the latter. I'll take you there. I assume you also know how we can get off this aisle. I was brought here on a mount. We can leave the same way. Now that you mention it, I did notice some flying creatures near the terraces. Given our numbers, we will need a large one, but regardless of our size, all can be won over with ether. Excellent. Let us go and find our mount at once. Oh, that's so cool! I'm... I'm really happy. I'm really happy about that one. 
Oh. Not good. Lord Gobez must hear of this. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky little bitch. I think we have to go up. Me looking at my void scent endearingly. I love my little void scent. Well, okay, it's not little. I call it's like when you talk to a dog and you're like, oh, puppy, and the dog is like a fucking massive, like, German Shepherd or something, and you're like, oh, puppy. That's me to the void scent. That's Avery to his void scent. Just, aw. Little, little, little guy. A little, little scrimble. Little, scr <laughs> a little scrungly. In before fucking. I got murdered in my sleep. Totally fine. We should be able to find a, mo uh, a mount here. With the castle in disarray, the creatures will be hungry. Just a little easier should suffice. Are you ready? Yeah. There it is. Ooh. What that? Whoa, big boy. Good. It agrees to serve. Get on. Ooh. Interesting. Whoa. Hey, it's a little gremlin. domain. In the beginning, it was a sanctuary for me alone. But over time, others began to gather here. Those who had nowhere else to go. A settlement of pariahs. Oh shit. She's like, lay off, touch them, and I'll fucking skin you. I love her. You are under my protection here and will not be harmed. I give you my word. Follow me. Hmm. 
This is cool. This is actually cool. I, I am. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. This is my abode. The others won't come near, so you may be at ease. While they know their place, if tantalizing either were to walk by, I can't guarantee they wouldn't pounce. That's respectable. If a void says nature, it's a, a void sense nature to consume, their sole purpose. Even if the pursuit of either may lead to their undoing, many succumb to instinct. But any who succumb here will have to answer to me. This is my domain's one and only rule, and it is absolute. Okay, okay. Nowhere to run. Having given you due warning, Zero would leave you to her to your own devices. Consider yourselves duly warned. If you wish to go among the void sent here, that is your choice to make. All have fled from one master or another, but whether any of those masters in turn served Kolbez, I do not know. You must ask them yourself. Many have traveled to your world, so it shouldn't be difficult to communicate. We shall go about making inquiries at once. Thank you for your counsel. Once we've learned all we can, let us reconvene at yonder, uh, yonder plaza. You're going too, of course, in which case I shall accompany you. I wish only to observe. Do not expect me to help. Then it's settled. I'm ready when you are. Ooh, escort mission! Ready? Then lead the way. I leave it to uh, I leave it to you to decide with whom you speak. A. E. All right, where are we going? Oh, there's a place up. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. You have dialogue. You have dialogue here. I call this my abode, but I spend hardly any time here. I only return for meditation. While physical wounds can be healed by replenishing one's ether, you cannot pre preserve your form if you lose sight of yourself. Such is the risk inherent in consuming another's soul. It dilutes your sense of self, alters you inside and out. To guard against this, I meditate. Visualize who I am in a place all my own. Oh, it's smart. That's very smart. All right. Oh, there's another little dialogue piece up here. Hmm. Interesting. What are you doing? Whose likeness is this, you ask? The hero who will save the world. I'm waiting for the day he comes. Or was it a she? I can't remember the details. I don't know how long I've been waiting or why I even wait. Could you be the hero, perhaps? No, I don't think so. Something tells me I'll know when I meet him or her. I'll just have to keep waiting. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see, ask about the plaza. Uh, this is the heart of my domain. Normally it's deserted, but you and yours have drawn everyone out. I don't recall the statue, though. However it came to be here, I certainly didn't wish for it. Okay. Hungry void set. Yeah, let's go talk to that. That fucking thing is... Is it looking at us? Okay, wait. Okay, no, it isn't. I was like, mm, is it looking at us? Is it... Okay. Um... Stay away from me. If you don't want to be eaten, stay away. I just want questions. I mean answers, not questions. Golbez. Golbez. I've heard the name before. Ah, I remember. Always speaking of a great crusade. I don't know what it sounds. Uh, what, what that is, but it sounds delicious. A crusade, you say? From whom did you hear this? For, uh, Fafarello. He was a minion of another minion. Went on and on about the terrible things he saw. I see. Perhaps Farfalo, uh, Farfalo, Far, Farfarello. Can I fucking speak? Uh, fu no, damn it, Zero, don't look at me. Don't look at me, don't look at me. To walk around with her like that, you're her minion then. You know I don't take minions. He has some questions and I want you to answer them. Golbez, I don't know that one. Only Skatuk. Oh, Skatuk. When she led us under, uh, led us beyond the veil, I grew scared and fled. I've been here since. I don't know anyone else, nor do I wish to. That's all I can tell you. 
Uh, Kazak was a powerful Voidzen who ruled over a vast domain. That was a long time ago, though, so I doubt she has any connections to uh, Golbez. Yeah, I remember Skatak. This actually kind of looks familiar. Hmm. Not sure, though. Not sure. You're one of the mortals, is it true? When you die over there, you really die? Yeah, when... <laughs> People, people die when they're killed. So it is, so it is. What brings you here then? Ah, yes, Gulbez. He seeks strong minions to grow his army, so I hear. But recently he's not doing that. Instead, he devours all. Perhaps he's gathered enough fodder and is now intent on bolstering his own strength. A sure sign that he's about to make a move. Satisfied with what you've learned? Ah, but let's step away before you become too tempting to resist. Uh, it's normal enough for newcomers to appear, but for her to bring them around, that's never happened, at least. Okay. I thought they were gonna say something... Like... She was like, please fucking step away. Uh, it seems the rumors of Golba has reached even my remote domain. Fair to assume he's gathering strength for his crusade, whatever that may be. But I must say, I wouldn't have guessed that Farfarello uh, Far won spot in Golba's army. It's a miracle he survived serving an archfiend. Ah. I suppose I should explain. Farfarello is the weakest among us. Constantly in fear of being devoured, he seldom consorts with others. And the only one he's comfortable with is uh, Siriato. He's a fellow coward who runs the instant he senses a threat and won't stop until he's exhausted. When their hunger grows too intense, they feed on each other's either. Such is their relationship. But I ramble. You intend to seek out Farfarello, I presume? Yeah, I'm curious. Then I'll come with you. He's less likely to hide that way. Cutscene. Meanwhile, elsewhere. What? Oh. Oh, yeah, we killed one of the Archfiends. Not only did the mortals conquer Kuwait, they defeated Scum Leone. I struggle to believe it. You better believe it. Yet Scarmillione still does not answer. Were he alive, he would have returned by now. Weakest though he was, his ability to regenerate was without peer. <laughs> if this account is true, if a memoriat has survived, They cannot be suffered to live. Leave this matter to me, Lord Golbez. I, Arborichia, shall strike down any who pose a threat to our plans. Tis true, you are a proven commander, well suited to leading an assault. And when I had succeeded, I would beg a boon of you. What do you desire? The dragon's ether. All that remains. The insolence. No place. With 
with respect. My locks are free as the wind, without incentive to sway me. I know not whither they will blow. <laughs> Boldly spoken. I trust you will not disappoint me. Upon this flowing hair and my immortal soul, I will not fail. Then go and impress upon these interlopers the futility of defiance. My lord. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna kill that bitch. Raffarello keeps the fringes of my domain this way. Oh, so Rashad. Uh the voice in here don't answer to a master. They can do what they uh what they please, but almost answer to the hunger and seek out prey when they need either. Except Farfarello, that is. Oh, sorry, Farfarello and Serato, that is. They are content to take from one another. Barring an incident, they dare not venture out. When he takes flight, uh, Siriato will not seek shelter until he's utterly spent. Farfarello, on the other hand, prefers to hide in the same place. Come. Honestly, they're. Uh, sorry. Uh, honestly, they're. Um, the relationship is kind of sad. Roshan, what are, what are you up to? Uh, it was in order to strike down the cloud of darkness that my sister crossed over into the void. What befell her after she vanished into the gate? How did she become Golbez's captive? These, thing, uh, these things and more I hope to learn. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you get the answers you, you deserve to hear. Oh! Siriato! Hello. Uh, whatever will I do now? Siriato, this is rather unexpected. Where is Farfarello? Uh, Farfarello isn't here anymore. He's left. Yes, that's right. Left? That doesn't sound like him at all. W well, he's gone, alright. What more do you want me to say? Uh-oh. And off he flees as he is wont to do. Something about this doesn't sit uh, well with me. What do you make of Siriato's behavior? Uh, yeah, no, he seemed frightened. Perhaps someone had threatened him, or I don't think he was telling the truth. Someone threatened him. That is a scared individual who has either A, witnessed something terrible happen and is being forced to be hush-hush about it, or is just straight up lying. Uh, I, doubt, I doubt it. Had he been threatened, he wouldn't have we wouldn't have found him in one place. No, he would run, run in circles until he could run no more. That's his nature. Well, hmm. As he says, Farfarello is gone, but that is quite unusual. As is the fact that Siriato, who is clearly frightened by something, chose not to flee but instead ate here, where Farfarello usually... No. We must go after Siriato now. Oh, did she... Did, did Siriato... Did he consume... Consume uh, Farfarello to the point where there was nothing left. And that's why he's gone. Siriato, we need to talk. There's no time. The wind rises. We must flee. The wind rises? What is he talking about? After him. Yeah. On it. Two reapers chasing after a void sand. Whatever will they do? Oh, they're having a nice little bath. Hey. Hi, Astidian. Uh, if a void sand is too weak to create its own domain, it must join with others for protection. Alternatively, it might devour them in a bid to become stronger, but in so doing, risk losing its uh, uh, sense of self. This is an unbelievable struggle. Yeah. It's the way this world works, I guess. What's gotten into you? What do you mean the wind, uh, wind rises? When the wind rises, she comes. Barbaricia. Barbaricia? Who in the world is that? We must flee. All of us. There's no time. 
I don't sense anything, but he seems convinced. It's a dead end beyond. We'll corner him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, buddy. You're not- you're- there's, there's nowhere to go. There's gonna be a cutscene, isn't there? Yep. We're doomed. There's nowhere to run. What are you running from? I already told you, Barbariccia, the Archfiend of the Wind. Archfiend, you say? We will be devoured or forced to serve, to fight in the Crusade, but it makes no difference. In the end, all are eaten by her or her enemies. I don't want- I didn't want to fight anymore, that's why I fled and came here. I see, that explains everything, almost. I thought it was Farfa uh, Farfarello who used to serve an Archfiend, not you. Not you who always ran at the first sign of trouble. You uh, you who now speak as though you were you are Barbariccia's uh, minion. There's only one explanation. Mm -hmm. He devoured Farfarello, didn't he? Indeed, that would account for his uncharacteristic behavior. So, is that the way of it? Did you devour Farfarello? And not just a portion of his ether, but his entire being. How did you know? It wasn't only your behavior that felt strange. You felt strange. As if there was more, uh, more than you present. Now, I don't believe you would have lost control. More likely it was Farfarello's, at Farfarello's behest. I can't hide anything from you. I admit it. Farfarello didn't leave. I ate him. He feared Barbariccia more than anything, hated the endless fighting, so he begged me to devour him, that he would never again have to fight. Oh. <laughs> Rather than eternity of fighting, he chose a moment of pain. For all the good it did, I can still hear his voice in my head. He's frightened. So very frightened. When you're eaten, your essence is blended with that of your devourer. And though you have no control, your consciousness, in part, endures. Were this a world where the wheel of life and death still turned, the soul wouldn't linger so stubbornly. In time, it would return to the great flow. But there is no such end here, no escape. All know this. In making his choice, Raffarello must have been desperate indeed. And now that desperation has joined with Suriato's fear, driving him to act erratically. This place will become a battlefield. I don't want to be eaten. Neither me nor Farfarello, but there's nowhere to go. Nowhere. Then tell me about Barbaratia. I would know who, she, uh, who it is we face. It's too late. She's as good as here, and no one can escape her winds. No one. Yikers! She's brought her domain with her. The Archfiend's after you and yours, I shouldn't doubt. Perhaps you should go and find them. But be warned, whatever this is about, do not expect us to get involved. I can't bear it! Eaten and being eaten! By you that be left in peace! You and me both. No, oh, I really feel bad for Siriato. He's so fucking scared. One of the Archfiends approaches. 
They must have been tracking our movements. She's here. Uh oh. Ooh. Ma'am? Excellent. You've saved me the trouble of traveling to Troya. So you're Barbariccia. Mind your manners, mortal. My name is not to be spoken, save in reverence and fear. Shut up. And what is this pitiful to me? Pitiful wretches all. I will put you out of your misery. Poor Scarmilione, and good riddance. Held by outsiders in pursuit of what? Pray tell. A dragon, one who crossed to this world thousands of years ago. Know you ought of it? <laughs> A dragon, you say? Goldberg is more clever than I realized. To let the prize live that it might lure more prey to us. Very well. In gratitude and service, I shall devour every last mote of their souls. Where is she? Where is Ashdaya? Huh. You even share its scent. How curious. And irresistible. If you think us easy prey, you're wrong. I'm gonna kill her. I need not skulk in shadow to claim what is mine. If you would know about the dragon you seek, then enter into my domain. You may flee instead if you wish. If the fate of the sorry lot here is of no concern to you, one way or another, I will have satisfaction. I'm gonna kill her. Fist fight me, one on one, let's do this. What's the plan then? Kill her, Amiwa. If we go, we'd be playing into her hands. Nah, nah, nah. Go after Barbaratio. What else? Like, I don't care. I'll fucking fight her. Indeed. Yet she will have the upper hand in her domain. We must be no less than fully prepared. We find her and get our answers. Will you be joining us, Zero? You may be easily goaded into accepting her challenge. But my curiosity is not so insatiable as to cloud my judgment. Nevertheless, if you are desperate for my aid, you know my price. I shall pay it. So long as you leave me strength enough to see my sister home, you may take as much as you wish. And lest you forget, mine is no ordinary ether. Barbariccia, too, recognized its potency. Very well. We have a bargain. Okay. Okay.
The less time we give the enemy to prepare, the better. If everyone is ready, then let us set forth. Indeed, and yet my heart weighs heavy for those Barbaratia struck down. Were it not for us, you would not have come here. Should you require a moment, Zero? For what? Barbaratia took what she could. She was wise to strike quickly, as we would be. Agreed, this is no time for sentiment. Only the battle matters now. Hmm. Um. Let's just take whatever. Alright. Ending the episode here, because wow, that's a 40 minute episode. So I will see you in the next episode. Until then, uh, take care.